Hello and welcome to Southampton Vampire by Night's Guide to the Mind's Eye Theatre Rules. In this video, we'll be looking at an overview on vampiric powers, also known as disciplines. Before I continue, I must make a quick disclaimer. If any of the rules I discuss in this video contradict with the rules found within the Mind's Eye Theatre Rulesbook or any official FAQ, then please adhere to those rules and not the ones discussed here in this video. This video has been created from our interpretation of the rules and is not a sanctioned or official source of information. So let's begin. Disciplines are the supernatural power granted to all vampires by their embrace. Fueled by blood and willpower, these powers allow your character to perform incredible variety of supernatural feats. In this video, we will simply give an overview of each power, each common power, but in future videos, we'll cover them in greater detail. So, common disciplines. The common disciplines are known by a large number of clans and bloodlines. They tend to be more straightforward, but they're no less powerful than the uncommon powers, and are generally the iconic vampire powers. With the storyteller's permission, any character may start with some knowledge of these disciplines, such as their widespread nature. Animalism. Animalism is a discipline of two halves. At first, you learn to manipulate mundane animals, and then you move on to the beast that lurks within all vampires, and even some other supernatural creatures. It's a social discipline, benefiting from charisma for the animal powers and manipulation for the beast powers. At the lowest levels of this discipline, you can speak with animals and even summon them to do your bidding. At the higher levels, you can possess animals and influence vampires' inner beasts, including your own. Orspex. Orspex heightens your vampiric senses the mundane ones at first, and then becoming more esoteric as the power advances. It grants powers recognisable as classic ESP or psychic powers. It also counters supernatural powers of illusion or concealment. It's a mental discipline, benefiting from perception at first, and then wits for the last two powers. At the lowest levels, this discipline allows you to augment your five senses, but as you progress and learn higher levels, you're able to extend your senses to auras, to spirits. You can use telepathy. You can even project your psychic consciousness. Celerity. Celerity is chiefly the power to move fast, like really, really fast, even potentially gaining whole extra combat rounds over your slower peers. One blood point per round activates all your celerity powers, but that adds up quickly as can the masquerade breaches if you're not careful. There's no celerity test pool, but a dexterity focus will benefit this discipline. At the lowest levels of this discipline, you can increase your probability of going first, and you can make it much harder for your opponents to hit you. At higher levels of this discipline, you gain access to taking additional actions per turn. Dominate. Dominate is the power to command, to force your will onto others. It's the legendary hypnotic gaze of the vampire. You will need to catch the target's eye, and they will need to be able to understand you. But beyond that, you can make your victim do anything. But not anything that immediately harms them. Dominate is a mental power, which typically benefits from intelligence but sometimes wits. At the lowest levels of this discipline, you can influence and control an individual immediately in front of you. As you advance within this discipline, your control over them also increases, ultimately with you being able to take full possession of them, fully removing their free will. Fortitude. Fortitude grants supernatural protection, even beyond that which is granted to all vampires. However, it does not make their bodies invincible. It does grant increasing ability to ignore pain and stay functional despite grievous wounds. 
Fortitude is always active, even if your vampire is in torpor or otherwise not present. There are no fortitude rolls, but a stamina focus will provide additional bonuses. At the early levels of this discipline, you are unaffected by wounds and are more resilient to damage. As you take higher levels in this discipline, your resilience to damage also increases. Obfuscate. Obfuscate is the power of concealment. It does not render your vampire actually invisible. Rather, it fogs the minds of witnesses so that they don't perceive you properly or even at all. It can fool any mortal sense, but it cannot fool machines or cameras. They will still show obfuscations that their operators will ignore the results until a while later. The discipline or specs can pierce obfuscations and any vampire that hasn't fully controlled their beast whilst using this discipline could be sensed by animals. Obfuscate is a mental discipline and is aided by intelligence or wits. At the early levels of this discipline, you gain the ability to conceal yourself and items from view. At the higher levels, you can change your appearance completely and you can make yourself and others vanish right in front of other people's eyes. Potence. Potence is the unnatural strength of the vampire. It's fairly straightforward in its use. Every rank stacks together, increasing your strength and melee damage. Potence is always active and requires no dice pull, though a strength focus will provide a little extra boost. At lower levels, this discipline increases your ability to cause damage and ignore armour. As you advance in this discipline, your successful attacks have an increased chance to do critical damage. Presence. Presence is the supernatural charisma that vampires are famed for. It is subtle, which is both an edge and a limitation. Used properly though, you can wrap a target around your little finger, or even terrify them so they never mess with you again. Presence is a social discipline and benefits most from appearance, although manipulation does help. At lower levels of this discipline, you can gain people's attention or make them flee from your presence. At the higher levels of this discipline, you have greater control over subjects' emotions and can even influence how they behave towards you. So, that broadly covers the common disciplines. We will dive deeper into the various disciplines, both common and uncommon, in the future. Are you a seasoned or regular player? If so, please tell us what's your favourite discipline. Maybe you're a new player, in which case, which disciplines do you struggle with or just not fully understand? Please comment below and we can tailor our videos to what you need to see. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative. Please like, subscribe and share. Click the little bell icon. This will give you notifications for our other videos. If you have any ideas for vampire LARP related videos, then please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Thank you and see you all again soon.